This is episode 55 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just Ask Joey. The Accidental Stoic, Part 1. Time is brief. There's nothing like realizing the value of time once it is taken away. It's recognizing that the road is a dead end, but only after you're hanging off the edge. Whoops. This is something people usually grasp as they get older. At some point, you realize that you can't go back and relive anything. Time is the only commodity that can't be replaced. Your kids can't grow up again. Your parents can't come back. You can miss moments and you cannot redo anything. So you need to make sure that you're in the right mindset to do it correctly the first time. The hardest part about this realization is it doesn't trickle out, giving you a chance to slowly get it. Take it in a little bit at a time. It's an avalanche, a broken levee, a flash flood. Boom! You're wiped out by the clarity of the situation, and it does not feel good. You're drowning. You don't know which way is up, but you know you're at the bottom. Questions race through your mind so fast you can't answer any of them. You're in a tornado of thoughts, emotions, and darkness. I was an idiot. I risked time with my family in the future by the actions in my past. Not only did I lose time when I went to prison, I was mangling the time with them when I was doing the stuff to get put into prison. I'm a dipshit. Uh, I mean, was. My daughter only turned five once, and I missed it. She only graduated preschool once, and I missed it. Only had one first day of kindergarten, and I missed that too. It won't come back, ever. Time is fleeting. No matter how angry I get at myself, no matter how much I cry, no matter how sad I am, it is gone forever. Our lives are a series of moments that we either partake in or poof, they're gone. You can be in the moment today. You can make sure you're in it tomorrow. But yesterday is gone. You either wasted it or you didn't. Sitting in a prison cell 23 and a half hours a day really allows for the gravity and shortness of time to sink in. Even if you aren't in prison, when you recognize a mistake, you realize what's gone and it's massive. Was that fight worth not talking to your son or daughter for years? Did you let your ego get in the way of your relationship? If no one knows, do you really think it won't affect them? While you are spending time keeping secrets over here, what are you missing out on over there? While you are hiding secrets when you are at home, do you really think you're present? You aren't. You're throwing away time. You are the rich guy that burns his money to keep warm. Sound ridiculous? It is. But so are you. Time is much more valuable than money. I understand you need to have some self-awareness to answer these questions honestly. Chances are, if you can't reflect at this point and see where you've been wasting time, even if it is just a little, you may never get it. And that's sad. Because you will eventually. It may be because your life blows up in your face, like me, or because you find yourself at the end of your life and you'll realize how much of it you wasted. And there will be nothing that you can do about it. So what do you do? You focus on the things you can control. You can't control yesterday, but you can control tomorrow. You can control today and every day after that. In fact, your tomorrow will be determined by what you do today. Can you wallow around in pity about yesterday? 
You can, but you would be wasting today and messing up tomorrow. There are changes that need to be made and putting them off is not going to solve it. Get up now and do it now. The things you can't control need to be left behind so you can spend your energies on the things you can. Let go of the small things. They hinder the attack on the big things. My time away haunts me every single day. My stupid actions haunt me every single day. But the clarity they give me about what I am doing, who I am, and what I am doing every single day as I grind to create a new life is priceless. I am working 10 times harder than I ever have in my life on 10 times the amount of things. I know my Twitter and Instagram look like a cluster F right now, but it's me and it's everything I'm doing. Blogging, writing, music, marketing, designing, everything. It's a lot, but it's me. It's my time and I'm not wasting a second of it. It's all coming together. And all because of my accidental stoic lesson, number one, time is brief. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Let's go.